Metaverse is the new buzzword in the town. That's why Facebook is rebranding itself around the concept while naming itself Meta. Let's talk about what is a Metaverse, where to find it, who is building it and how you can benefit from this new technology craze. Hi, my name is Sunny and I make videos that affect a common man financially. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to it alongside smashing that like button as that will help me with the YouTube algorithm and it will be highly appreciated. I'm aware that metaverse is the new buzzword in the town and if you ask any expert, they will come up with a very technical explanation what exactly it is. Now to keep it simple and easy to understand in plain English, Think of it as a virtual world. Here using different innovative and disruptive technologies, big tech companies are trying to build one of their own and you guessed it right, Facebook wants to have the biggest one. And surprisingly, this virtual world is in its initial phase of development, definitely is different from the actual world that we know exists as of today, where using VR glasses, you can be a part of it. Sounds crazy, right? I know if you tell this to a 70 year old man, he will definitely think that we are going crazy. But surely we are moving in the direction where many applications are being devised based on this new evolving disruptive technologies that are converging. Some are even comparing it to the world of virtual gaming, which can be considered as the beginning of how the future metaverse might look like. There are certain technologies which are the building blocks of blockchain that are being used in this evolution. I completely understand that to a common man, it would seem like a sci-fi movie and I agree it is borderline fiction. The whole idea is to make this application so immersive that once you enter this virtual world, you will have a bit of disconnect from the real world that we know of today. Have you ever seen your son playing Xbox or PlayStation? You know what I'm talking about. Mark Zuckerberg in October announced that Facebook will now be known as Meta Platform or simply Meta. People thought this is just a rebranding exercise where he's trying to build a holding company like what Google did with Alphabet. But I think he is ahead in this technology curve where he could see the direction in which virtual technologies are moving. In my humble opinion, time is not that far when big gaming companies like Sony or Microsoft along with digital content creators like Netflix or Disney will be going all in. The Facebook stock price has gone up almost 10% in this short period of time, giving an indication what the investors are looking at. In this field of artificial intelligence and virtual argumentation or simply called AI and VA, Chinese tech companies are not very far behind. It would be naive on our part to think that companies like Alibaba and Tencent who have got access to huge personal AI data from their customers in China hasn't started their own metaverse development. In today's world of new evolving and disruptive technologies, these are converging and resulting into something very unique which couple of years ago we could not even think of. I believe that you need to have more than an average IQ to keep up with what is going on in the technology world. On the other hand, Ones with little bit of awareness should be able to take advantage of these new technologies while they are about to take off. Today's investment world allows you to invest in these early stage incubator ideas, but of course these come with a lot of risk. It is understandable that a lot of companies will try to ride this technology curve, but most of them will not succeed and some are able to dominate the market at the end. Now the million dollar question is who are those ultimate winners, which frankly nobody knows and thus we can only make a calculated guess. There is no doubt that they have to invest a lot of money in R&D, therefore companies with huge pockets are likely to succeed. The whole idea is to keep their customers glued onto their platforms like modern day gamers and somehow monetize them later on. Facebook is investing in software and their virtual displays. Netflix and Disney might be interested because of their extensive online content, whereas cryptocurrency with its blockchain technology can be the hub for decentralized applications. 
Maybe that is the reason some of the experts are of the view polka dot might be a bright future. But that is me, I might be wrong. Do your own due diligence before investing based on your own risk tolerance. As a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. Please consult one before investing based on your personal financial situation. This is my take on the topic, Metaverse, what, where and who. If you like the content that I make, please help me and my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.